This is the ancient San Siro church in Genoa. The first church was founded in the fourth century and then many times reconstructed, rebuilt, renovated. But what is important today for our story is that in the year 1097, I mean 11th century, two French bishops came to Genova, here. And this church was sent by Pope Urbano II to ask Siri to unite with the other Europeans for the crusade, what we know now as the first crusade. As you may know, there were others. And so the city of Genoa united with the other European forces and marched to Jerusalem to liberate the Holy Sepulchre. But this is the beginning of the story of the Holy Grail. This is the beginning of the story of how the Holy Grail that materially exists today was found, where and who did it, and where you can find it and see it today. An object, they say, was used by Jesus Christ on his last supper. So the Genoese sailed to the Holy Land. Their captain and commander was Guglielmo, that is William, Hammerhead Embriaco. Oh, you can guess what kind of commander he was. He was the man, the principal figure in the finding of this legendary object. The ships they used were close to the one you can see here. They had sails, but mainly they rowed, tough. They crossed the Mediterranean Sea in 1098. They went to Caesarea Maritime, today's Israel, and they took it. They knew their job, how to besiege and conquer. It was the year 1101. In that time, they used to have an agreement uh, when conquering a place uh, between the Allied forces participating and uh, who's gonna get the prizes. Uh, we are talking about uh, who's gonna get uh, the town, the lands, uh, who's gonna get the treasures. And to have the idea of the preciousness, of the importance of this thing that they knew it was in Caesarea by the sea, they decided to divide the prices in three. The town, lands, the treasures, and the grail. And Guglielmo and Brioco and the Genoese did choose the grail because they knew it was the most important thing. Not talking about town and lands or treasures, gold and precious stones. They wanted the grail and they took it to Genoa. They brought it to the new cathedral, no more San Siro Church, but the San Lorenzo. There are many treasures in the dungeons of the cathedral. San Lorenzo's relics, precious arcs, many treasures, gems and stones, San John the Baptist plate. But which one of these is the grail? Which one? Is this one?
The legend says it is a bowl, a plate, a dish if you want. The crusaders knew about this object and the place where it was kept, in a temple in Caesarea. Some studies about its age were made. Stay till the end because I will tell you. So here you have it. A real holy grail. Is it real? Come and discover by yourself. It is kept in San Lorenzo Cathedral, Genova, a cathedral so beautiful that deserves at least one visit in life, a theater of many, many historical events of the past. Well, so they thought that uh, this was the bowl, the plate uh, of the Last Supper, of uh, Jesus' Last Supper. And, and they believe that uh, the artifact is very ancient uh, indeed. Uh, but uh, recent uh, studies uh, uh, say that uh, it's not from the age uh, when Jesus uh, lived uh, and uh, sometime after. It's, it's very ancient, uh, of course. Uh, but maybe we need uh, more studies and who knows, uh, you have to come to Genova, you have to, have to see it by yourself, you have to judge by yourself. Uh, of course, uh, it's a wonderful artifact uh, and who knows, maybe it's the real Holy Grail. If you like this video, press the like button subscribe for more videos like this until then holy grail to everybody mm -hmm.